This is not a disposal. This is a training operation, sir. Hello, my name is Alexander Kalina, and today we will be blowing things up. Joining us so here, we're at Luke Air Force Base. We're with the team of EOD. And, uh, so they brought us here to explode these three motors that take rockets into space. This is fantastic. This is what it's all about, right? Loving it, loving it. This is Thunderbolt Nation coming at you. The range you'll see out there today is a big, vast section of Earth with very few things around it. The Barium Goldwater Range is 1.7 million acres, and uh, we get to do a lot of fun stuff down there. So hopefully this is just the first step or opening the book to more experiences for you to come and tell your airmen about getting the cross train and wear a badge one day. We're here to see things blown up by the greatest EOD in the Air Force here at Luke Air Force Base. Welcome everybody, like you said, I'm Sergeant Delgado. For today's operation, we'll be disposing of three uh, M57s. Uh, right after I give you a safety brief, we're gonna head down there. You'll be able to come close, take a look at it. You're on a disposal range. There's ordnance potentially out here, unknown items. So if you didn't bring it on range, please don't pick it up. You should only see the three rocket motors. A couple of boxes to the right will have, we'll have a bunch of igniters and other cartridges, miscellaneous items that are removed from the rocket motor before we dispose of them. We'll be disposing of that as well. We are uh, stage three for NMN3 uh, rocket motor. So it's uh, basically an ICBM so they can shoot satellites up into space or carry any other kind of payload they want. But what Mike Dove's team will do is they'll, they'll remove the center uh, taped area, which is where the igniter typically goes for the rocket motor. They'll place two uh, blocks of C4. Uh, linked together with uh, about 50 feet of deck cord from one single initiation point, which will be uh, at the end of the road there using our uh, radio uh, transmitter. Over here you have it C4. C4. Actual stick, double sided tape, slap it anywhere you want. The more you mess with it, the softer it gets. So you start messing with it. See over here. Toxic gases. Cannot get a buzz of this. Please don't eat this. Unsafe. Super uh, insensitive explosive. You can light it on fire. You can shoot at it. If you have it on, on your person like we do often, we carry it in our pockets uh -huh. or uh, sling it around our necks. Uh, we also <laughs> cut it into pieces um, as we you know, carry charges. So we carry them. Uh, you'll see our guys load up a gas set when they go into clear an area. This is uh, insensitive for a reason, so that troops can carry it in the field. You know, so it's not like the movies where the guy with the C4 <laughs> I mean, gets shot at and he blows up. Yeah. That doesn't happen. <laughs> if you were to hold C4 like this, and it goes off, they wouldn't be able to find it. You would just it dissipate. So these are, these are operational. These were once in a silo, ready to go. And while there is still life left in them, 10 years original shelf life, and now we're up into the 50s and 60s. So they're still good. These are still uh, certified to go up into outer space and orbit. Uh, we're training on them in advance of any active emergencies, hazardous situations up at Camp Navajo. What you'll see later, the detonation is gonna be extraordinary. We wanna prevent that from ever happening at Camp Navajo for a couple of reasons. One, because the city of Flagstaff is so close. Two, because it's in the forest. We have this luxury of wide open space here where we can have huge fireballs and not worry about starting fires. So we're working on different disposal techniques and mitigation processes to keep these from going high order or propulsive. These things are designed to go out of space. This is the stage three. If this thing goes whoosh, hello San, Fran San Diego, San Francisco, or the larger ones, stage ones, hello Rhode Island and everything along the way. We don't want that to happen. So the training that we're doing here, we're doing here in support of Camp Navajo operations is critical. We'll be at the hilltop if you didn't already know. If you look behind you, that smaller hilltop that has that open patch area, that's where we'll be uh, when we fire this thing off. And it's not just for safety, but also for, so that we have a good vantage point to the, to the detonation. Finally made our way up the hill, so that's where the detonation will take place. So that area right there, make no mistakes, is where it goes, boom. Just wait till the detonation is the best part. <laughs> Aircraft can fly 20,000 feet over the ground, so AGL, above ground level, due to uh, the detonation and everything, because obviously you don't want to blow anything out of the sky and they don't want to accidentally drop something on the area either um, but it's like a temporary flight restricted area essentially so all right we're gonna go ahead and uh, fire this fire in the hole fire in the hole fire in the hole
You did not miss it. So, Alexander, that was a visual depiction of the excellence of what EOD does, but it was also a visual depiction of the power of the Airman Leadership School team and the power of Thunderbolt Nation. Thanks for being out here. This is the crater that's left after the explosion. Check this out. <laughs> The holding rack for those explosives are down underneath all this gravel and stuff. It buries it essentially. They don't have to get it out. But... And I hope you all had a good day for yet another one of Alexander's awesome videos today. Have a good one.